evening everybody let's make a little short video uh talk about a couple things uh talking about queen rearing um as well as talking about nutrition um and one of the things we do um in particular as far as uh pollen substitute this time of year um for our cell builders and uh as well as just for our other colonies so as the dearth starts to set in a little bit uh, this time of year luckily we've had um, some rain actually this this kind of helped us along um, but as we get into points of where things start to slow down a little bit uh, we try to keep these builders going and keep these bees going uh, start building our our winter force uh, and getting them getting them ready but um, just going to talk a little bit about what we do with our pollen substitute in particular um, we use ultra ultra bee dry pollen and we order you know order it by the 50 pound bags um, and then we make up our own pollen patties uh, what those pollen patties look like is just a heavy syrup um, like a two to one or even a three to one syrup um, just whatever it ends up being um, just just a heavy syrup uh, and then also we add a little bit of corn oil into it too to where it gets to almost a play-doh consistency um, to where it doesn't stick to your fingers or anything like that um, and the bees absolutely love it um, you can see here this is just a small little portion of where some is at just that little bit amount and those bees when you watch them almost instantly um, they go to it they they absolutely love the fat in that in that pollen patty um, this here um, this is this hive is queenless uh, we set it up to be queenless this morning um, so I came in this morning put about a half a pound worth of patty on here um, and you can see I mean the bees are just just absolutely um, just just chewing this up um, quite amazing and you can tell the way they're flying they are queenless um, anyway so and you know they're they're just they're lined up uh, going to work and you can see just how much they love love these patties here um, we've made them without it and look at that they're just lined up at the feeding trough side by side there um, you know we've made it without the corn oil um, and and you know they do like it as well um, but it's something about when you when you add that supplemental fat to it um, they just man they, they do a really good job with it um, so we we add this in um, to our cell builders as well as trying to supplement some of our colonies that are a little bit lower on pollen um, and just try to really stim stimulate that queen uh, right now uh, to get her get her laying and getting ready for summer splits. Um, so this is um, 30 uh, queen cells from our uh, VP Poline 2.2. Um, so we just dropped them in about five minutes ago, um, and I was coming back to add some add some syrup to it. Um, the difference with this particular setup we have. Um, we normally graft, um, if you've seen our other videos, um, with a 10 frame um, cell builder uh, and with a medium honey super below it. Um, so, but this time we're going to go in and we're going to try something a little bit different. Um, we came in, I came in five days ago and I added uh, five frames of cat brood. Um, three of those frames were emerging cat brood, so there's quite a few quite a few nurse bees in here right now and um, the other two were some younger so over the course of the next five or six days we should really see um, a lot of bees emerging out of here um, so we dropped in 30 cells and I'm not real sure if I'm gonna do like I typically do and make it a cell builder to where I'm gonna um, allow them to go all five days or I may end up finishing them over a, a queen right setup not too sure yet um, We'll just kind of play it by ear and see how things look and uh, go from there. Uh, we'll check those queen cells in about, I guess, probably around 48 hours or so. Uh, that kind of gives you a pretty good idea of what you're gonna what you're gonna have come out of it for the most part, I should say. Um, but anyways, so um, that's all I was kind of gonna talk about. Uh, just talking about our grafting setup for this round uh, and talking about um, nutrition just a little bit. Um, as you can see, those patties are absolutely covered up again already. So 
um, they really they really love the formulation so uh, and one other thing um, just talking about the patty itself you know if you look at it how I determine the right consistency is it's almost like play-doh um, you know some some uh, pollen patties and substitutes they'll stick to your fingers uh, you can see this is not this is not sticking at all um, it's it's just almost like you know like I said like play-doh um, or modeling clay or something like that and you can set it down and they immediately go to it so anyways I uh, hope you enjoy the video hope it helps a little bit um, we'll probably come back like I said in 48 hours or so a couple days and uh, we'll check on these cells and I'll bring you with me see what's happening all right take care